everyone, I'm Annette and welcome to my YouTube channel, Annette's Journey Starring Mwah. Today I'm going to be answering a real estate question from one of my subscribers who is actually my cousin and his question was whether or not is Trulia a good app for finding real estate properties. Now, he uses Trulia and he absolutely loves it. I use Trulia all the time, I have it downloaded in my phone. Um, and I absolutely love it. So I would love to talk about that today. Now let's get into the video. So for those of you who don't know, Trulia is a go-to app for many buyers who want to purchase a home, as well as sellers who want to sell their home. Now, um, Trulia is an amazing app, but one thing that I think can improve about the app is one, not being able to see all of the listings a lot of brokers and agents have troubles posting their listings on this app which causes an issue for buyers when searching for homes because as a buyer when you're looking for a home you want to be able to see all of the inventory out there so you want to know every house that's on the market right another thing that I think they can prove is the accuracy of the estimate of home values just like Zillow Trulia um, has an issue where not all of the time the estimate of the home values are accurately measured um some home values some properties may be overvalued or undervalued overpriced or below price and i feel that as a buyer that becomes a big issue because you want to make sure these numbers are very accurate when you already have a number in your mind now here's what real estate agents like myself would need for you to get started when searching for a home one save 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 as much as you can because in the end you will need money for down payments closing costs escrow for insurance and taxes as well as making sure you're able to afford the purchase of the house two improve your credit score make sure you're not making no major purchases don't cancel out any credit cards Stay current on your bills. Remember, a higher credit score equals a lower interest rate. Three, calculate. Calculate what you can afford. Calculate what you cannot afford. You don't want to be that person who's looking for a $700,000 home when in reality, you can only afford to buy a home that is valued, valued for $500,000. Four, now this is very vital. Make sure you get your mortgage pre-approval. This is so important. Five, decide what you want in a home. There are so many different types of homes here in Staten Island. They vary from colonial style, cape style, high ranch, um, townhouses, and much more. Are you looking for a single family, a two family, detached, attached, semi? There's a lot of things um, that takes place when searching for your home. So you wanna make sure that you're finding the perfect home for yourself and your family. Six, choose a realtor. Now, when I say it's very, very, very important and helpful in the process of searching for your home that you hire a real estate agent, have more access to experts such as contractors, lawyers, mortgage brokers, mortgage bankers, mortgage lenders, that can definitely help you out in the process of finding a home much easier for you. And we work for free. Did you hear what I said? We work for free. <laughs> Seven, visit homes. If there's a bunch of homes that you already like, visit them. If there's homes that you don't even know about, visit them. If there's a specific area that you may like, visit all of those homes in that area. When you visit these homes, make sure you take videos, photos, write down notes, put some mental notes. Number eight, narrow your choices. Narrow your choices as much as you can. Go visit these homes when it's the nighttime or during the day to see how the traffic is, if there's noise, if there's stores around in the area just so that you can have a better understanding of how the area and neighborhood is during the day and the night number nine make an offer 10 schedule a home inspection 11 make a final walkthrough check the lights check the doors to see if they're working check the sockets and finally number 12 
close that deal and move in. Those are the 12 tips I have for first time home buyers that I feel you should need when searching for a home before you hire your local real estate expert. Now, if you ever have any more questions that you want me to answer, make sure you leave a comment below. I will definitely make sure to answer every single question there is. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. For more information, I will be leaving any resources I have in the description box below. So make sure you go check that out as well. And stay tuned for my next video. Thank you, my lovely subscribers. I am out.